Hello, my name is Creo Sticks, and welcome back to Alan Wake, where we are in a uh, oh dear diner, I, I believe, as in D E E R, and where we have a, a cardboard cutout of ourselves. Uh, right. So much for quiet vacation. Which you know, which means we're famous, and we write best-selling books and all that good stuff. And who are you two? Sonny, I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> right. Well, so you uh, put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Right. So actually, uh, this game has a lot of uh, well, a lot of but. Yes, that's my favorite tune. This game has a lot of uh, um, uh, licensed music, I believe. Well, at. at at least more than some other games do. So if if at some points I need to say splice up the uh, video for some reason, like if it looks like it it either jumps around or something else, that's the reasoning because I I, I want to avoid uh, copyrighted music as in to avoid the ads in YouTube. So that's the reasoning. And also it may at some points uh, cause it to take longer to get an episode out than. Just that sort of stuff, so keep that in mind. Shut your mouth, you and it's probably, uh, I might need to I talk over uh, some of uh, the music here as well. It does that, get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good sharp whack. Good sharp whack. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! Now that's what you're talking about. This that's good it. for you. Yay! Good for you. Now, what's your name? Huh? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. Okay, then. You I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Right, and that's the door sound from Max Payne. <laughs> well... Good for us. Oh, that's a dark. Yes, and 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 she says that the darkness is bad. Uh, go to the toilet. Hello. We're looking for uh, the dude who has the key to our cabin. Mr. That's... Stucky. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. Oh no. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. Not I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Right. Not, not uh, ominous at all, yes. Although, your character... Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Although now you don't look quite as menacing, but still weird. And but I'm sure it's just my imagination, and nothing bad ever happens to us I'm ever. So happy this could be arranged. Good for you. And uh, let's. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I'm sure. This really ought to be fixed. At right. <laughs> Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay, you have a lot of exposition on a number of directions here, and I'm not sure which is important and which is not, but uh, right. Uh, but we. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman. Bye, Mr. Wake. And you cut off the. Right. That. Right, let's just move. Hello, Alice. We had a lovely moment there in the... The key and the directions. My from, from the Lady Satan. Just in case. 
instead of the dude we were supposed to meet. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Well, right. So... That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. All oh, right, we have a l l like a writer's block or something, I think. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in 2 years, not since my last book. Hmm. Okay then, and let's also just run and, uh, and 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 just talk over the licensed music, and let's just hope it doesn't get picked up in anything, and let's just move on. Yes, that 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 sounds like the correct option. That's a pretty cool view, and just diving. It's gorgeous, Alan. Can... It's something, all right. Yeah, it 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 Don't should. Worry, I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Cool beans. Uh, I had a thought. Right, the uh, the low-res cinematics. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. Right, uh, the low-res cinematics, um, I think it's because this was originally in 2010, it was uh, an, an Xbox 360 exclusive, and then later on it was ported onto PC in like 2012, I want to say, by a different company even, uh, or at least partly by a different company, uh, or, uh, uh, sorry, a dev team, and... Um, I, I mean, Remedy Studios made m made the game proper, and then the port was at least in part handled by, I think, Nitro Games. So, there we go with that. Uh, right, so I I think the lowest cinematics are from the 360 era, like, as is, and then the rest of the of the game is ported to, you know, look good on PC. So, that, that's why the uh, difference in quality in, in cinematics and the actual in-game graphics. So, there we go. Uh, and I gotta say, it's, it has some pretty cool lighting, and the graphics look kinda good. I like it, at least. So, what's up with our cabin? It's, 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 I'm sure it's a lovely cabin, where nothing bad ever happened. We sat down in a couple of chairs, and, and we lived happily ever after, and, look at, and looked at some bushes, and looked at the, the water. Yes. That, that's probably exactly what happened. Also, that's pretty good looking water, that's the, gotta say. I can't really sprint now, which is a bit of an issue. Go to the cabin. Right, I'm going, I'm just... In, I just wanted to check the view, it's fine. Here we go, let's take a look inside. Let's indeed, yes. Uh, right. I need to actually QTE the lock open, but that's... We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? I'm sure I can manage. Ooh, that's a big... Oh, I can already uh, focus the light like a champ. That's a big perch. Or a... Well, I think you might... A perch or... I'm going... Uh... A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Why would there anyone be here? What's with the Silent Hill radio? It is a Silent Hill radio. Turn on? Was it supposed to be off? The dear best guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview. Now let's uh, go to the phones, caller. You're on Q 
KBF FM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous friend was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBF FM. And now, the music. Right. So much for keeping a low profile. Right. Well, that's, 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 that's good, good, good then. Oh, we have a coffee machine, give. Uh, oh, sorry, not a machine, but a, a, th a, a, a thing. I'm looking to get the power on, so... From where do I do, do that exactly? I'm, again, it's been ages. It like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Right. So, actually, it says July 1970, so joke's on you, Alan. You, you That's the 70s. Haha, -ha, yes. I am forgetting, though, how did I get the power on? Also, that looks like a painting, almost like a, like like Munch, but not quite. Oh, well, I don't know all of Munch's work, but it's it sort of has that style. The feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Damn. Oh, I did not remember that. No. Oh, God. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. If you say so. An ancient diving uh, suit. Right. Do, 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 do. Let's find the fuse box or whatever. I got a feeling it's There's gonna... probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Right. I'm working on it. Shed open. Also, just be before we do that, let's just get a good look at the at the sunset view because uh. When focus, you can focus on... Alice had told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. Uh, okay. But, uh... That looks pretty good. Like, that, that... That is some pretty solid water and some good, uh... Good sunset lighting on it. I like it. But, uh, this is... So, how do I open Shack? Can the crows help me open the door? They would, like... Put their beaks in the lock and had been connected to the power cable. Right. There we are. Okay then. Now does that put the power on? I hope that good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Oh. The island. Well, I wanted to examine it, but apparently it, it was... It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. But... I thought we could be happy here. But... Time for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Right. Love story for sure. Do, 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 do. Right, so now let's just go back in and have some quality time with the missus. Which is, have a good cup of tea, I think. Hello? Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Yeah, I love surprises, especially when when there's something I wasn't I, I didn't well, want. Hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, study. Right. Anyway, uh let's just Surprise. Alice. A, what is this? A typewriter. I have a small confession to make. 
I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you, everyone keeps- Hey, 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 just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. You're a bit of an ass, though, Alan. Like, not... Like, I get it that you're upset by the... By the Dr. Hartman thing or whatever, but... I mean, you are a writer. You're... Di, 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 that's what you're supposed to do. You know, you know like, that. that's how you, how you make a living. You know? Oh no! Gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Alan! Coming! No! What the hell? Let's flashlight fight cr ravens because reasons or crows or whatever. Man, you you really have this. You really have the stamina bar of a rider, let me tell you that much. Oh no! Oh no! That's a heroic jump. I'll give you that. Keep going, Alice. Where go? Alice? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. Oh dear. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Well, that happened then and things have taken a turn, it seems. Creator's Dilemma by Emil Hartman, PhD. Why is that book in the trunk? Also, what was that? Why? Why? The Stucky is a thing there. Cool beans. Uh, anything down to see? No? So how did I... So wait, I... So I've crashed from up there, down here, and st stopped right here by an, a massive stroke of luck. Like, a rather almost, a, you know, uh, defy the laws of physics kind of stroke of luck. I am not super duper dead already. That's good for us, yes. Well, let's... Uh... Oh, I can actually examine the book. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. That sure makes one of you. I don't really have an, have an opinion yet. Uh, well, that's some the nice... The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Right. Well, let's 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 get going then, and find our way to. What's you? Ah, there's just some trash on the ground there. That's that. That's. Damn. That's kind of what I mean. How did? Well. That. That answers the question of does the physics actually still just, you know, pull the car down, but yeah, that... I'm kind of one wondering how did the car stop just at the edge and then it actually fell when I left the car when it's more lightweight, but... Ah, details, details, details. 
That is a spooky forest. That is that's that 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 sure is that. Okay, just let's that let's Hello? Oh Okay. What is you? Also is there something in the Ah let's keep going. Hello? Someone there? I heard like a like a breathe in, like a diver breathe in, which is the loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Okay, then. Can I actually read it? F5. Uh. Departure by Alan Wake. For me. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Like Alan Wake. Uh, actually, I gotta commend the game in that I I, I can appreciate the fact that that it reads the quote unquote uh, collectible text logs for me, which is well, yeah. Essentially, they 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 make a story, but still, they I I really appreciate that. Uh, just a fair a, a fair warning. I'm probably gonna miss a number of the of those pages because I have no memory of where exactly they are. I probably never even picked up all of them anyway when I did play. Through the game at some point, so also, do, do I have the flashlight? I don't, I think. Yeah, I don't. That's bad. Alan, where did you put the flashlight when you when you went to the car that you drove into the, the rocks? Also, why did you drive a car into the rocks? And how did the car not tumble down? Yeah, about the accident, did it happen to make you hallucinate shadow people, or are we super duper, uh, boned? Oh, a fun little, uh, point of fact. You see those stars up in the sky? According to, at, at least ac according to uh, some sort of a documentary or, or whatever from, from, from Remedy, uh, they actually traveled to the correct area in the United States to take pictures of the starry sky to make it accurate. That's what that said. I I I, I can't tell you if that is that way, but that's but, but that's what the documentary said. So I'm, so I'm, I'm just going to believe that. That's a cool little factoid. I I like it. I believe Sam Lake himself said that, but I'm not, but don't quote me on that, but I but I did see a documentary that very clearly said that or it was maybe the commentary of the collector's edition, but still. Nonetheless, that's what that what they say happened, and I like it. That sounds cool and very interesting. Hmm. Well, there's a light there. That's kind of you know. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Well, let's hope for the best. Yeah. Do 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 do. I'm sure there's nothing bad in, in in anywhere. I don't see anything like sh shining as a collectible. So, can can you go? Hop. Ow. That's not fair. Okay. Uh. Please, I've been in an accident. Well, I. There's been an accident. I need help. Gonna be another I need to accident. For rent in accident. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non-refundable reservation has required. Fair and square. 
Fair. That that's fitting. Oh, he's not gonna get up, is he? Okay, bad. Oh. Ooh, coffee thermos. It'll give courage to. Uh, anyway, let's just keep keep going. Oh, manuscript. Give me a second. I'm just gonna read the thing. Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Now if you say so. Right, uh, I assume I'm gonna just go past these and... Have you just considered just you know uh, going to the Olympic team in the in the long jump? I think you might have a have a future there. You. It... Okay. Hop. second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Thanks for name dropping The Shining. Also there's a gun in the table. How convenient. Okay then. And yes, I've used one to, yes. Pick up batteries, pick up more batteries. Uh, that table, it does move. That's, I didn't expect that. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Okay then. This is going well. Let's just leave the place and. Ow! And run into some ele electricity because, yes. Oh, okay. There were more of them. Oh, hello. Dup, da dup, dup, da dup, da dup, dup. Oh, come on. Just take it easy. I, 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 I don't want to use batteries if I don't, wa don't have to. I'm just gonna uh, dodge like a champ. Oh, there you go. Eat it. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies, they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Okay, I got a thing, I got a feeling. That oh, this yellow uh, uh, arrow to the left, but yeah, that's that would have probably helped me as well. But I didn't know how long it would take to turn it on, so it, I didn't want to risk it. But hey, we didn't use any batteries, and, and, and we're fine. I'm gonna check what that yellow uh, line says. Uh, what's with the breathing? It's not okay. Eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. That's cool. Flare gun. Thank you. I'll absolutely take that. With only one rocket, but still, I'll take it. Well, flare. But, I have no idea what's the good stopping point here, because, uh, uh, like, when's the next action moment gonna come and all that, but, uh, so I'm gonna call it here, because I'm all out of time for this episode, and I, I enjoy this. This is a, a blast from a, from a fairly recent nostalgic past that I really enjoy. It's, ooh, ooh. It's showing its age in a couple of small spots, but it looks gorgeous. I like it.
and and actually plays really well. Like Remedy does the the uh, how a game plays real good. I I like it. I know how words work. Shh, yes, but I do hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, please do drop a like or a comment or even subscribe or share if you want to. It will really really help. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.